When I finished my apprenticeship and I had finished this tanka and I was really about to present my work to the world in some way, I wanted His Holiness the Dalai Lama's blessing and his advice and so I requested a private audience with him. And um, they responded, yes, of course you should have one. And, and so they scheduled it and my father happened to be visiting at the time they scheduled it and I asked if I could bring him along. And, so fortunately, they said yes. He oh, was I most guess. welcome. So what I, a great experience uh, to share with I'm him. I was so excited, and it, it was just so warm, so heartwarming. I was so nervous beforehand. Obviously, um, here I am about to meet the person I admire most in the world, probably, and yet when he, as soon as he walked in the room, it was like being with family. Yeah. And what did he say? Um, Various things. Well, one is under his breath to himself, he looked at the, war, at the tanka and said, oh, it's very beautiful, it's very well done. Um, and that's what remains with me, was just that little blessing right there to know that it was in his eyes well done. Yes. Um, and then he talked about, I was concerned about not doing anything that would be disrespectful. Um, and you know, knowing, having some guidance on what kind of commissions I could take. Like some of the images are um, more esoteric, require certain um, empowerments or instructions beforehand to do the practice, and I wanted to know whether I should be careful not to do those for people who hadn't had the initiations. And really, to almost all my complicated sort of questions, or, he said, as long as they have respect, a respectful attitude, then it's not your business to check that they have the credentials or anything. He said, you know, if someone's not respectful, just say no, don't do it. But if they have a respectful attitude, a good intention, and you do the work excellently and sincerely, mm -hmm. and don't ever pretend to be something you're not, then it's all good.